Hey guys, welcome to the first ever Smarter News board meeting. You know, normally large corporations have a meeting of the board of directors, which is a bunch of chosen people that are usually pretty important and very smart to help advise the company. And I thought it would be a great tradition for us to hold a board meeting on a regular basis with you, the people that I'm actually aiming to serve. <laughs> I know it sounds like such a crazy idea, but I'm really excited about this as we wait for some other folks to join us. I just want to point out what's happening in my house. My two-year-old is still awake. It's nine o'clock at night, by the way. She's relaxed, but we might hear from her. In the meantime, just so you can see what's going on, you know how politicians used to have fireside chats? That's our fireplace. And then you see that little, it's like a, looks like a little tea kettle. That's from Israel. The giraffes are from Africa. And then we have exercise from Africa. And then we have exercise bands <laughs> that we're trying to keep away from our kids because they like to snap them on each other. So that's my house kind of in a nutshell. But uh, I thought sitting on the ground, having a chat together would be a nice way to get started. And what I was hoping to do tonight is here we are a year in, exactly a year ago today, it was the first day that I put on social media that Smarter News existed and tried to promote it as much as possible. And we had a few dozen followers and now look at us over 13,000 followers on Instagram, which is so huge. And I'm really grateful. And I wanted to sort of read you in on why I started Smarter News, but also where it's going, because I want you to understand what you're a part of. It's something so much bigger than just what you're seeing now. And my dreams for it are really big as well. And I want your guidance because at the end of the, at the, end of the day, you know, you could have great dreams or a great vision, but if it's not what people want, it doesn't really matter. You know, and it's one of those things I've learned over the last year as an entrepreneur is that there are certain dreams to really hold on to, and there's other things that you really just have to be flexible. You just have to you have to be flexible and you have to make changes. So, let me bring you back to um, why I just started Smarter News and how it even got its name because I think that's really important. Smarter News came after years of thinking about a better way to deliver news to the consumer. You know, my grandfather was an Associated Press war correspondent, and so I have blood in journalism, even though we never got a chance to really talk in depth because he was really sick by the time that I was old enough to exchange stories. But I really believe in journalism. I believe in a free and functioning press, a press that is fair, that serves the people, not serves themselves. And I was able, and I was lucky enough to go to graduate school to study journalism. I worked in a bunch of different capacities as a a writer for a district newspaper, didn't get paid anything, to a producer at a local news station, to um, an online journalist for Forbes, and then found my way to Fox Business when they were starting a business network. And that's how I got into broadcast news, which is something that I always wanted to do. And I spent about a decade at Fox News. Many of you don't know me from that, which I think is really incredible and great in a lot of ways because it's not... It's been an important part of my journey, but not the center part of the journey. So when I was working as a broadcast journalist, over the last, I would say, five years, it became very clear that the public was very disillusioned with the press. And I had ideas and proposals about different things that I was hoping to start, including digital platforms that I thought would serve the public better than if they had to tune in to watch me on television. At that point, I was working five days a week, two hours a day, live television, co-hosting a show, probably a million, a million and a half people every day. And so I made the decision at the end of a contract period to, to leave. And I didn't make the decision and think, oh, I'm starting Smarter News. You know, that's like, I'm leaving and I'm starting Smarter News. <laughs> no, I was leaving because I knew it wasn't right. And um, it took a lot of soul searching to make that decision. And eventually, and I'm kind of fast forwarding, but eventually I found my way to the concept of Smarter News. And it was something that I had been tossing around in my my mind for many years, but it didn't have a name and I didn't really know what it was. And so the whole idea was based on, and this is why I say it's inspired by the American woman, but not limited to, you know, I was thinking that the life of an American woman has changed dramatically really in the last 30, 40, 50 years. But the way that we deliver news to her hasn't changed. And being in the middle of, 
you know, a, a time in news when there was so much conversation about the treatment of women in newsrooms, but also talking about women as voters and as consumers, I thought, you know, it's really interesting. We love talking about women so much, but what are we really doing to help them? Like we're actually raising expectations and giving them less resources, which is not helpful to anyone. And so I thought, well, what happens if I prioritize the American woman and what she really needs and just start with her? not limit a platform to her, but just think about what does she need? Sort of like, you know, the old fashioned manners of everyone opens a door for a woman first, you know, the door is open for everybody, but it's nice to let the woman walk in first. And so I looked at, around at my group of friends, you know, some of them single, some of them married, some of them with kids, some of them not. And across the board, most of them were not very engaged with the news because they didn't feel like they connected to it. They felt like it was cluttered. It was confusing, but not because the content was difficult, just because it was hard to navigate the bias. And I thought, well, how can I make it really conducive so the news can be delivered to her as she's moving throughout her day? So she gets high quality information all the time. And then that's accumulative over, you know, over a certain period of time, that high quality information really um, adds up. And makes her feel more in control of the information as she should feel. That's how news should make her feel. And so I was sitting on a plane next to my daughter and it was my daughter's birthday actually. And I thought, well, what do people really want from the news? Like they want the news to make them feel smarter. Like that's what people want. And I thought, well, smarter news. That name has to be taken. I mean, seriously, but it wasn't. And on the plane, I bought the domain name <laughs> and I thought, okay, great. Smarter news. Like Smarter news is the beginning of something, and we could talk about it as news inspired by the modern woman, but you could think about me as her, like I'm the her in Smarter News. Like I would never name a website Jenna's News. That's so obnoxious. Oh my gosh. I can't even think about it. But this makes sense. And then I, then the dream got bigger, and this is kind of what I wanted to read you in on. So Smarter News was created sort of thinking, okay, the way that women consume information is a lot like how women consume dinner when they're out with girlfriends, you know, high quality appetizers versus full steak meals, <laughs> right? So like, that's the way I'm going to form smarter news, but smarter news is going to be part of a major network. So it's not just about smarter news. We're going to eventually create different channels. That's all about high quality information that comes from reliable sources, and that includes smarter beauty and smarter health and smarter fit, um, smarter science. You see where this is going. So smarter tech, smarter baby. And so these will all be channels that will eventually deliver to her or him information that they want on a specific topic. So they'll get the news, but then let's say they want like a few moments of like the hottest beauty information. Because I firmly believe we want to know what's happening in Syria at the border with flu shots and the hottest nail polish color at the same time. Like, I think that's the way a lot of people's minds work. That's how my mind works. And we need that in like three minutes or less. Okay. So that's what, it, that's part of where Smarter News is heading. But also I want Smarter News. I really believe in the power of local news. I think local news is really important. I think a lot of great journalism is being done at the local level. So Smarter News should become Smarter Texas and Smarter Texas becomes Smarter Austin and Smarter Austin is Smarter Dallas. And you see how this sort of franchises out. And part of the reason for this is twofold. There, there's a real business strategy behind this is that I think we're entering an economy um, where there's a lot of women that are underutilized. Again, this isn't limited to women, but I'm just thinking this is the woman that I identify with because this is who, who I am right now. You have a lot of women that would like to, to be more engaged with their children, that would like to stay home, have more flexibility in their work. Technology is allowing us to have that. They need to work like 20 hours a week. They have a great deal of expertise, often graduate degrees. How can I harness the power of that group in the economy to actually provide jobs for them and a meaningful, a meaningful vocation? And so that's something that I'd like to structure through Smarter News. So if you have an expertise in medicine, can you help us with Smarter Health? And if you really are tapped into the community in Austin, like can you head Smarter Austin? And so this is this is sort of the, this is the economic structure that I'm thinking of it. But here's the other catch to it all. I also think that the way that news is structured in general when it comes to advertising and the way that news channels and the news media is trying to make money is totally all wrong. It's not working for the consumers 
and it's sort of working for the news organizations, but if it's not working for the consumers, then it doesn't matter. And you guys know what I mean by that. Like I could be sitting here at five o'clock in the morning trying to be quiet and a pop-up ad starts playing like a loud advertisement while I'm trying to read, you know, uh, USA Today. Like that's not effective advertising at all. Like, so why is that? Because the modern news media is based upon quantity. Like it's supposed to be overwhelming because the more quantity of content they put out, then the more advertisement they can attach, which is better for them and worse for you. <laughs> I mean, it's great to have a lot of content, but what's great with a lot of content if you can't navigate it? So I also want to develop a different advertising structure and those different channels and the different locales are really important to that. So if there is a great sale in San Francisco and Smarter San Francisco and there is a company that wants to partner with us, then perhaps they're the highlighted company for the week. We get to highlight certain items for them. And yeah, it's an advertisement, but it's quality. It's quality advertisement, sort of like old fashioned television when you would see, you know, um, someone, you know, doing a talk show at night and then suddenly they'd pause and like tell you about macaroni, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was like a seamless part of the program, but it worked because it was a testimonial. It was something that the host was probably talking about and it provided like it was relevant. It wasn't just like this random pop-up ad that is because you searched, you know, laundry detergent three days ago. It's, it, it's kind of interesting to watch as part of the program. And that's what I want to develop with Smarter News. So when you saw Smarter Partner, our first Smarter Partner with Redland Cotton, when we told you a little bit about their story and we partnered with them on some sales, that's the model that I want to be able to repeat so it's actually meaningful. So that's a lot. But that's where we're going. So the first year of Smarter News, you guys would not believe how many people told me. I mean, we're talking about major media executives at the highest level telling me that nonpartisan news is not what people want, that I'll never be able to make it unless I have an opinion and can provide commentary, which just isn't who I am, so it would never work, and just didn't believe that anyone was searching for something like this. And I was like, I think you're wrong, you know? I really think you're wrong. And so this has been such a great year because the passion that you guys have shared with me about how you feel about Smarter News is really reassuring. And I feel like we're actually providing a service. And honestly, you guys, I love seeing the Smarter News community grow. It's very helpful. It's encouraging. It's, it, it will provide us more business opportunities, which will be really important because right now I'm personally supporting Smarter News and that can't happen forever. Um, but uh, if I know that we've made an impact on someone's life to the positive, but some of you have written me and said that you haven't watched the news in like two years and you suddenly feel engaged again. And some of you have said like people are commenting to you like, how do you know that fact? <laughs> like that's, that's amazing. Like that's so awesome to hear. And even if I was on television in front of a million people, like I never felt that, like that purpose. And so... Um, I mean, I felt, I felt purpose. I felt proud of my job, but what I'm trying to say is that this is at a whole different level and I really, really appreciate it. So, um, that's the vision for smarter news. So smarter news check year one, we got the news platform up and running. We want to develop that more over the next year. We have to walk before we run. You know, I can't build all these franchises out immediately. But that's where I would like to take it. So I would like smarter news in all 50 states. So represent smarter Montana, smarter Nebraska. Where are you guys out there? Kim, I don't know where you are, but Kim, Kimtastic, we got to get one in your state too. <laughs> and then get them into your cities. And, and that's going to be the power. And here's one other kicker. And then I'll, I'll take some questions because I've been talking for a while now. Part of smarter news twofold. This is pretty crazy. But are you ready for this? I want there to be a way that you guys, when you have a tip, something that you've learned, a cool item that you like, you can share that smarter tip with others in this community. So it's almost like you could create your own little card about something. I think that would be really cool because I love sharing things that I found out, good sales, great products that I like. And then long term, here's something else. 
you know, a lot of these news channels are limited for advertising because of ethical standards, right? You know, Katie Curry can never do a Pantene commercial because somehow she's not going to be able to cover <laughs> if there's a Pantene recall. Well, Smarter News, we're not going to worry about that. Like someday I want to be able to partner with companies that will create smarter products. So smarter detergent and smarter sunscreen and smarter mascara, and we can create a product line that's all our own based on our standards. So just like we have standards for news, we're going to have standards for products. And that's also going to make this brand incredibly powerful. So that's exciting. That's, you know, we're like looking down at the horizon far away, but I think it's close. I think it's closer than we think. So I'm so glad I'm, I'm seeing folks from Tennessee and Washington state. I'm really curious if we do have smarter news in all 50 states. So we're going to have to see if that's the case. So wherever you are, let me know. And we'll see if we can put a little smarter map together to see where we need to target next, just to make sure that everyone's aware of what's going on here. So, all right, guys, um, this is my seltzer water so that I won't, you know, be slurring my words while I'm talking to you because that would not be professional. Missouri, Iowa. So great. Mm -hmm. I love this. Mrs. Cat, who's been a great supporter. Thank you. I feel like I'm watching the beginning of something big. This is exciting. Yay. North Carolina. Love that. Massachusetts, snowy Iowa. How bad is it out there? Washington State, Pittsburgh, South Carolina, Illinois, but not Chicago. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, everyone has their preferences. It's okay. New Jersey. What's up? It's late there. I'm sorry. I know. San Jose, California, so close to my hometown, Georgia, New York, and Texas, Austin. That's my girl, Courtney. Hey, Courtney. South Texas, Larissa. Larissa has five kids. One of our first supporters, so I know parts of her life. Larissa, thank you. <laughs> Colorado, San Diego, Southern California, Columbia, Missouri. You guys, it's incredible. Ohio, Georgia. I mean, it's awesome. So, oh, I forget. And there's Ben. Ben, by the way, was uh, Ben. See, if you think Smarter News is only for women, all you have to do is turn to Ben Duff. <laughs> ben has listened to my crazy ideas for more than a year and helped me actually build the website. So thank you, Ben. I really appreciate that. <laughs> um, okay, guys. So I'm curious what you would like to hear more about and um, what you would like more from Smarter News. One of the things that we have been battling, and we're going to see some changes, I just want to tell you, over the next few months, because um, we're going to need to try to hire some more people very part-time, hopefully get some interns in that'll help us as well for content. Here's my question for you. I really believe I like our quick quote stack, which is, you know, a smattering of different quotes that are things I think you should have on your radar and usually one or two topics for the day. So let's say three cards, right? Um, do you guys feel like you want more content? Do you feel like that's enough content? Do you feel like we're missing some content? Here's what I'm noticing. I'm noticing you guys are super engaged Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a little bit of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're like Insta stories. Like it's a different type of engagement. This is not a criticism, <laughs> but I'm curious if you feel like you'd like more of something. Like, do you want more content or more politics or do you want more non-political news? These are some of the things that I'd like to hear from you about. So, hey, be in Idaho. Cool. Mm. I see about international news. You know, it's interesting. We had a lot of international news a couple months ago, and I feel like as the beginning of this year, it's been so focused on the border that there hasn't been that much international news that we've, we've kind of intertwined. So thank you for that reminder. I think that is, is, uh, it's really important. 2020, some of you are already looking forward to the election, but some of you think that, that the content's pretty spot on. See, I don't want to overwhelm you or clutter up your life more than it needs to be. But I also don't want you to be like, hey, wait a minute, why aren't they covering that? So those are some things that um, I'm considering. I see more non-political news and you like, I see M, you like the quote cards, but you could handle a little bit more political, social, more content. Jackie, more content. I just find myself ready to continue reading and learning more. Here's one thing I want you guys to do. If you mainly view us on Instagram, which is totally cool. Like this is the highway you're driving on. Like I want to be there. But if you get a second, definitely check us out on smarternews.com. And if you load it, if you have an iPhone, for example, and you hit um, your button at the bottom of your screen, 
depending on what kind of iPhone you have. You can save Smarter News to your actual phone, so you get a direct link and it'll operate almost like an app. And so that way you could flip through the card. So let's say you were saying, oh man, I kind of wanted more information on that. You'll see that at the end of every card stack, we actually list all the sources so you can read more. Let me amend that. We don't list all the sources because it wouldn't be helpful if I gave you 15 different articles that I read. But let's say like tomorrow we're going to be covering um, what's happening in Syria and the American woman that wants to come back to the United States. I really limited my sources on that. I have like four different sources in there. I think that's probably all you need. Uh, there's a bunch of other, th I mean, there's like a lot of noise, but I think those are the best sources. So then as you get to the end of the card, you're like, oh, I'd like to read more on it. Then you can actually read more if you'd like to. So that's it. Oh, smarter travel tips. That's so great you say that because we have been trying to get smarter travel off the ground. No pun intended. Get it? Okay. <laughs> and I just haven't developed a format for it yet. I was, I kind of want to be able to say like, hey, smarter travel, like let's say you're going to Yosemite. Like, do we want one historical fact and like three tips? Do you like need a news item about it? So I'm trying to figure out like the right template for it. But I have my sister-in-law, in fact, has been traveling like, all over the place to Egypt to like, you know, Turkey. And she's like, I can write up all this stuff for you. And I'm like, I know, but I just don't know what to do with it. So I am, uh, we're definitely working on it. So uh, anyway, smarter diet tips. Oh my gosh. Smarter cooking. This is a big one. Smarter cooking. I like, I really like that. I could use some of that in my life. My husband's actually cooking in the kitchen right now because he came home and there was no dinner made. Sorry, Leif. He's like, I'm used to it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel like that's lacking in so many other... Love the mini civics lessons. Thank you. I, I need the civics lessons. That's why I share it with you. You think I memorize all this stuff about the house and the Senate? Like, no. You got to refresh your memory. Otherwise, I mean, you don't use it. You lose it. You know what I mean? You've heard that. What were you going to say, Leif? He's been listening quietly this whole time, cooking so What are you cooking? Um, breakfast for dinner. That's awesome. Breakfast for dinner. That's what he's doing. Deer sausage. And, uh, Deer sausage. Look at what happened to my life. I was a New Yorker, and now I'm in Texas, and my husband's cooking deer sausage from deer that he hunted. <laughs> field, field, table. <laughs> field to table. I mean, I, I'm proud of it. I'm just saying it's a big change. That's all I'm saying. So... I like, Kel, don't spread yourself too thin. You have a great plan so far, working great, and love the historical perspective. All I can say is that uh, I'm really proud of you, and I'm really proud of Smarter News, and uh, and it is definitely not just for hers. <laughs> it's for him's as well. Wait, it's because the, the guy version is going to be him genius. Him genius, which uh, our good friend Tom actually came up with. <laughs> him genius. <which> awesome. <laughs> But uh, no, I, I think, you know, the, the world needs this and it's great. I know you focus this for, for ladies, but. Well, is, I say it's inspired. It's inspired by women. It's where, uh, it's where I go for, for my news. And I think for a lot of you, you folks, I, I'm, I'm busy and I don't have time to just watch the news all the time. And I tune out the, the just blathering opinions that are, that are. We, you, now, that's true. We used to watch the news all the time. We used to watch the news every day. Every day. We'd have it on in the evening all the time. We don't watch it at all. Yeah. And I don't watch it. There's so many people that are like that. Cause it's just, it, it's the, the news and opinion have been completely blended in and you can't even really ascertain what is happening in the world. So I love how you break down what's happening and what's important and why it matters. And, uh, and I think that's a, a great thing. Thank you. We this is that. this is my husband, my first investor. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I guess we can consider you the first investor in our company. That's right. Well. Ooh, that's what we do. It's a partnership. We gotta support each other through your different business ventures. That's right. It's so true. There have been times where Leif has turned to me and said, like, repeated a story that was on Smart News, and they're like, "Oh, did you hear that?" I'm like, "Yeah, I did," because we posted it this morning. <laughs> It's, okay, we have a new column called um, Smarter Leif Tips Leif that we would, we're getting a request. Okay. Um, all right, guys. I think this has been really helpful for me just to spill my guts to you. I hope it's been helpful to you as well. And um, keep the comments coming. One favor I would ask is, like, please tell your friends, family about Smarter News 
it's important for us to just keep getting the word out, grassroots perspective. Like that's what this is all about. And, um, you know, if you have ideas or you have stories, like we're all here, we're all here. We're all ready to listen. And, um, I'll, I'll take any, any of the suggestions, you know, it really will. So that's the story morning glory. And, um, thanks for listening tonight. I really appreciate it. That's my girl, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Thank you so much. So many great people I've met throughout this journey and you guys have been awesome. So I really appreciate it. Info at smarternews.com is just easy to remember. And so you can always email the team through that. You can direct message us through social media. It's less reliable, but it's easy to do. So please do it. It just sometimes takes me a couple days to get through the messages. And that's a great problem to have. All right. Cheers to year one Smarter News. Thank you for this very informative board meeting. May we have it perhaps more often as needed. And thanks for being part of this amazing adventure. More to come. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow on Smarter News.